S E A Aquarium. Go to Vivo City, and in there, you'll find Sentosa Express. It's the largest shopping mall in Singapore, where you can find local and international luxury brands. There's Gucci, Zara, H&M, and Forever 21 for all the fashionistas. And then there's Pandora and Swarovski for the jewelry enthusiasts. There are beauty and wellness products, and children-friendly spots like playgrounds and theaters. From the MRT Harbor Front Station on the Northeast and Circle Line. Just follow the signs to get to Vivo City. Go to Level 3 and you'll see the Sentosa ticketing counter. From the Vivo City Station, you can get to three different locations. The Sentosa Express connects Vivo City to Resorts World Station, Imbia Station and Beach Station. Go to Resorts World Station if you're going to Universal Studios Singapore, Resorts World Casino, Crockford's Tower, and Bullring. S.E.A. Aquarium is also there, so that's where we're getting off. India Station is the stop if you're heading to Madame Tussauds. It's also a great stop for the nature lovers because of the India trails. Hop off the beach station if you want to go to Siloso and Palawan Beach. Here's a map so you can explore the Sentosa Island. After a few minutes, we've already arrived at the resort's world station. And what greeted us was the Universal Studios Singapore. In the same station, you can also find Adventure Cove Water Park and the S. E. A. Aquarium, which is where we're heading. There's a Lego shop where you can buy stuff. And lots of good food around. Huh? Huh? We even took a photo op with the famous Universal Studios Globe. Just walk around and follow the signages to reach the aquarium. Soon, you'll see this on top. You have to walk straight ahead then turn right. Once you're inside the S.E.A. Aquarium, you'll see eight different zones. And in these eight zones, you'll see 40 different habitats of sea creatures. We'll soon reach the entrance as you continue walking the path. There weren't many people when we visited the S.E.A. Aquarium. It's either we're late, or just because it's not the peak season. Nonetheless, we're quite thrilled that there's not that big of a crowd. Don't worry, the entrance is almost there. Just a few more steps, and... Tada! There are juice vending machine outside. Which was especially useful since Singapore is a very hot country. Finally, here's the entrance. We just presented our ticket from Clooklink in the description. And he already let us in. After getting all hot and sweaty from outside, we're now entering an air-conditioned place. Finally, I can see the name signifying the real entrance to the aquarium. This is what I like about aquariums. First reason is that they are always air conditioned. Second, they always have this huge display of fishes surrounding you. It makes you feel like you're one with the nature and the sea creatures swimming all around. Just look at the sharks lingering around. 
But wait, it's a stingray with a shark's tail. It's called a bowmouth guitarfish. Look, there's another one. They're already endangered since they're hunted for their fins. Add that they're slow to reproduce, so their number continue to decrease. In this part, you'll see different small fishes. Can you see the eel hiding? Look at the puffer fish. Funny face. Look at these cute fishes that look like angel fish. I forgot what they're called then. Next up is another thing to excite me. This big glass is another reason we visit aquariums. Here, you'll see the bumphead parrotfish. One of the aquarium's main attractions, the blue fish is one of the largest coral reef fishes. Right, let's go. On the other side, you can touch starfish in the tank. Line up and make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before touching. Wash hands. Amazing corals, aren't they? These are tiny eels in the sack. They come out of the sand to look for food. But they go back in when they sense danger. If you're bored, there's a mini souvenir shop in the middle where you can find many cute stuff. It's Nemo. Continuing, here's some cold water animals. And yes, the sea jellies. I especially loved how they showed the jellyfishes. And there's plenty of them in the S E A aquarium. This one looks like the Dementors in the Harry Potter movie. Only they're white instead of black. And look at these. How about these colorful jellyfishes? After these cute sea jellies, we'll now go to the open ocean habitat. 
This zone features about 40,000 sea creatures across 120 diverse species. You might see some rare animals like giant grouper, leopard whipray, and pick handle barracuda in this huge dome. Best of all, you can sit in the staircases and watch the fishes, having their time of their life in the natural habitat. fish-shaped ice popsicles. Look at this fish. Doesn't its nose resemble an elephant's? There's even an aquarist lab. It's where hatchlings are cared for. But you know what? You can go inside the back of house area to watch the baby sea creatures being cared for. And see how they provide specialized care for the animals. Ticket link in the description below. Look, someone's doing their job right. And there are lots of people. My most favorite creature seen in S. E. A. Aquarium is the weedy sea dragon, commonly found in Australian coastal waters. They usually appear to be seen in drifting motions. They feed on missing shrimp and small crustaceans. It's my first time seeing a sea dragon, even though we've visited lots of aquariums before. Five. This fish, which is called a lionfish. Just look at its unique features. But these carnivorous fish may harm reef ecosystems due to competing for food in space. Apex 
attracts predators of the sea. This zone has many types of different sharks. 100 different predators and 12 different species of sharks are in this zone. You can find sand tiger shark, black dip reef shark, and swallow hammerhead shark. show you more about the aquatic world in a new light. In Zone 1, you'll see the different layers of the ocean. Through the changing color spectrum, you'll be immersed in the fascinating phenomenon of marine life bioluminescence.